Did you know? Minecraft was partly inspired by an earlier game created by Marcus Notch Person called Ruby Dunk. Although not much is known about Ruby Dunk, it was planned to be more of a base building type game like Dwarf Fortress. Ruby Dunk's grass and cobblestone textures were actually used later in Minecraft, and early versions of Minecraft were named Ruby Dunk internally. Notch had the idea of adding a first person view to Ruby Dunk, but he decided the textures appeared a little bit too low resolution and distorted in first person view and scrapped the idea. Notch later stumbled upon another indie game called Inf Miner. He thought Infiniminer's building mechanics were fun, but that they lacked variety. This inspired Notch to create a first-person fantasy game using old terrain assets from Ruby Dung. Some aspects of this new game were also inspired by the PC god game Dungeon Keeper, a game where you build things and explore dungeons. Notch reused a blocky human character model from one of his earlier projects called Zombie Town, which was also the source of Minecraft mobs. At the time, Notch hadn't decided on a name for Minecraft and simply referred to it as Cave Game. The game's first official name was Minecraft. Minecraft Order of the Stone, which was a reference to a webcomic called Order of the Stick. The game's name was shortened to just Minecraft to appear simpler and prevent people from confusing it with the Order of the Stick webcomic. After the basic mechanics of Minecraft were set in place, Notch began work on the game's multiplayer mode and experimented with several other ideas. One idea Notch had was to populate the world with animals. While making a model for a pig, he accidentally mixed up the X and the Y axis on the pig's body, making it stand vertically. This model is actually what Minecraft's creeper enemies are based on today. All of the game's living creatures, including the humans, were also originally intended to be gender neutral. This is why cows have both horns and udders, and chickens have rooster wattles despite laying eggs. Notch also intended to include a sky dimension, which would be the polar opposite of the nether. In a live webcast with FIBA.se, Notch revealed the sky dimension would probably be a dream world, and that there would be a chance you could teleport there randomly while sleeping in a bed. The player would later learn how to trigger this event purposely. However, Notch delayed this new area until he could make the nether more interesting. Eventually, the sky dimension was converted into the end, which is a grim, empty place floating in a void. The connection can be seen in the end's biome ID, which says sky. This was lightly overlooked by the developers and left in the game. Minecraft's been updated over the years with new features, but easter eggs and secrets were also snuck in as well. When you enchant an item in the game, the strange symbol that describes the type of enchantment you're using is actually a direct usage of the standard galactic alphabet from the Commander Keen series. In October 2011, Notch posted an image on Twitter of Minecraft's enchantment screen. The image contained a few hidden messages in the standard galactic alphabet. The first enchantment translated as, well played internet, you are good. The second translated as, these names will be random and confusing. And finally, the third translated as, each spell costs experience levels, which secretly described a function of the enchantment table. When the enchantment table was added to the game, more references were included. One of these enchantments translates as, the Elder Scrolls. Likely a joke aimed at Bethesda, creator of the Elder Scrolls series, and whose parent company Zenimax attempted to sue Mojang for their name of the upcoming game Scrolls. The enchantment that says Klaatu Beretta Nictu is a misspelled reference to Klaatu Barada Nikto. The phrase originates from the 1951's The Day the Earth Stood Still. There's also an enchantment that says Zizi, which is a magic spell from an old 1970s adventure game called Colossal Cave Adventure. Even Minecraft's title screen has hidden secrets. The text below the main title is changed randomly and sometimes references pop culture, but if you go into your Minecraft files and delete splash.txt without deleting the meta inf folder, the splash text on the title screen will say, missing no. This is a reference to the infamous glitch Pokemon from Pokemon Red and Blue. There's also a chance that the main title itself will say Mintraft instead of Minecraft. You can also create decorative paintings in the game, many of which hold references to other video games. The paintings named Aztec, Aztec 2 and Bomb are all pixelated representations of Counter-Strike maps. There's also a painting called Graham that shows King Graham from the point and click adventure game series King's Quest. Graham appears again in a painting called Stage, despite the background being a direct reference to Space Quest and not King's Quest. An image of two men fighting, named Fighters, pays homage to the 1980s fighting game International Karate Plus. Another painting, titled Pointer, pays homage to the original International Karate. There's also a fairly noticeable homage to Donkey Kong and a painting called Skeleton, which references the meme midget from the adventure game Grim Fandango. It's well known that the Enderman are a reference to the Slenderman monster, but they also have another secret. The Enderman's voices seem to be distorted and reversed audio clips of someone talking. It's thought that the Enderman is saying, here, Hiya. Hiya. 
what's up, or this way, forever, and uh-oh. You can also name mob creatures in the game. If you name a mob creature Dinnerbone or Grum, the creature will flip upside down. This is an easter egg put into the game by the developers and references two staff members at Mojang, Nathan Dinnerbone Adams and Eric Grum Bros. That's all for today, but don't forget to subscribe to Did you know Gaming on YouTube and follow Did you know Gaming on Facebook and Twitter. Make sure you also go to diginogaming.com and if you'd like this video, check out our other ones. And if you want to see some more Minecraft, come over to my channel and check out the Minecraft Christmas Adventure where we take part in daily festive challenges. Also, if you're a fan of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, I'm doing my first playthrough of it at the moment and I could really use your help.